evening, Graham Rawlins with our Friday edition of News Geelong. Brave Hearts continues to be an outstanding youth-based organisation in our great city, reaching out to many thousands of youths. The Great Ocean Road Coastal Committee continues to look for improvements along our great coastline. And from the world of Geelong sport, Mitch Scoop Cleary will speak with one of the Geelong Cats coaches, Dale Amos, and VFL Cats on-field leader Troy Selwood. While from the weather world, we'll update you on the Geelong and Surf Coast area weather expected over the next six days. In Australia each year, over 3,500 families, painfully and tragically, experience SIDS, Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. Debbie Meany has more. Rivers Gift is a wonderful foundation aiming to help with research for SIDS. I spoke with Becky about a market that's happening on the 17th of March and how we can all help with Rivers Gift's foundation. Um, so the foundation itself, which is Rivers Gift, um, was a foundation set up by Alex and Carl Waddell, um, who were the parents of River. Um, River was a baby in our mother's group who very sadly passed away in November last year um, from SIDS. And as a consequence of that, to try and help raise money and awareness and, and fund some really amazing research, um, they've set up Rivers Gift and they need, you know, vital funds to try and, and get this up and running and stop it from happening, you know, to somebody else down the track because it's so tragic. Yeah, and you've come up with a market idea. Uh, those quotes yeah. in the background. Yeah, so the market, I guess, came about from a couple of different reasons. Um, I was literally cleaning out my wardrobe one day and you know you hold on to things thinking oh it's so nice I used to love that it's too good just to give away but you know things I haven't worn for you know five years sometimes longer things that don't fit um, and I thought well you know there's places in Melbourne that you can go and sell your, your clothes or you can eBay them and all of that just sounded like a bit bit too much work although the market's a lot of work <laughs> um, so I thought I know there's a lot of other women and men in similar situations who've got things they want to sell so I thought well I'll just do my own market and I thought you know what better cause to donate the proceeds to than to Rivers Gift so I didn't want it to be a business of my own and um, you know I thought it was a good way to raise awareness in the local community so that's and you, you're hoping somebody comes on board and helps you out with uh, some insurance Yeah, funds? look, that's the, um, that would be ideal, definitely. Um, at the moment, with the, the amount of stalls that I've got and the capacity of the complex, if I, if I fill that up, I'm basically just covering the cost of what the market costs to run. So the public liability and the cost of the um, complex itself will be covered, um, but none of that, there's nothing left over to donate, so that's where the gold coin entry comes in, but, you know, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers that somebody or a number of businesses might collaborate and, you know, throw in a few hundred dollars and, and just try and make sure that more money goes to the fund and, yeah. In Torquay, this is Debbie Meany for News Geelong. Thank you, Debbie. This week, Braveheart celebrated helping over 200,000 children across Australia to keep safe via the program Ditto's Keep Safe Adventure. Meryl Friend reports. We're here at Whittington Primary School where the National Child Protection and Awareness Program Brave Hearts has celebrated a milestone of educating 200,000 children across Australia. The Brave Hearts group started here in Geelong last October and is slowly going through all the schools around the region. We were able to speak with the people involved. Yes, Meryl, it is something that is very exciting. Uh, we've We've seen a really nice performance out here today at the Whittington Primary School and uh, uh, it makes the uh, fundraising and what we're trying to do really worthwhile to think that there are now 200,000 child, 200, children that have been educated. And so these programs are hopefully going to be available in schools but it's all about fundraising, there's no government subsidy. Not at the moment. Is there's no fund, there's no government funding in Victoria. It's all been raised by uh, the Geelong community, which I'm very thankful for the great support we've had. And we've got a, a hundred people working for us, and uh, as on voluntary basis, and a small number of staff. And it's it's really going well. And last year, at the end of last year, we we had a thousand within six weeks of Geelong people. 
The Brave Hearts group have now educated 200,000 people and the Whittington children saw the show last year. How did they enjoy it? Uh, fantastic. They've had lots of excitement leading up to this visit and celebration today. Um, a fantastic program. They've all been really looking forward to meeting Ditto again. What do you think of the, the valuable lessons learned? Um, the students have gained some confidence, I suppose, around speaking to people that they trust, um, being comfortable with their own body and things that are appropriate, and obviously recognising their feelings and things about unsafe situations. So you'd be happy to have Brave Hearts back again? Absolutely. We're looking at booking another booking later this term, and um, yeah, we'd highly recommend the program to anyone who was looking at it to having it in their school. Steve, and what did you like best about Ditto? Um, private parts. How did that song go? Um, good. Yeah. And did you get a stamp on your hand today, Shay? Yes. And what's your favourite thing about the show? Um, Ditto's surprise and the cake and the songs. And also, Blake, you saw Ditto again today. How was he? Good. And what was your favourite part? The song. And did you get any of his special chocolate cake yet? No. Do you like chocolate cake? Yeah. You're going to get some soon? Yes. From Whittington Primary School, Merrill Friend, News Geelong. Thank you, Merrill. Connecting Girls, Inspiring Futures is the 2012 theme of the International Women's Day. Debbie Meany has more. I'm here at the Surf Coast Shire Council offices where the International Women's Day breakfast was held, celebrating women in the Surf Coast and in the region, and just talking about why it's important to stand up and perhaps be counted in council and in other parts of our lives. It's been a fantastic morning actually, we started at 7.30 and just to celebrate I think um, women's progression in society over the last hundred years. I was, just uh, spoke this morning in regards to how it was only 1908 when um, women had the right to vote in Australia and um, no, a woman wasn't elected into Parliament until 1923. So I think it's uh, just celebrating the achievements of trying to get that balance in equality between men and women. I don't think it's a, a specific um, women only day and um, I think you know, not only women but men should also celebrate that day. Because you know, women and men, we go together generally, uh, have families, you know, work together. Well, that, that's right, and I think um, you know, I think you acknowledge the day and acknowledge the um, what women have done in society, um, as you do with men. And I think it's um, probably a, a, a special day that women need just to um, be aware of the achievements of women throughout Australia and the world, and um, that. I think it's also encouraged women to also take on more responsibility in society in regards to leadership and that sort of thing. So encouraging women to perhaps stand up and take a more active role in, in higher positions perhaps? Yeah, yeah, we were focused very much today on, on our local government and trying to get representation in local government and also um, balancing family life and being able to be involved in um, you know, education and um, sport. Um, and being involved in, in technology and business as well. So um, yeah, it's encouraging, encouraging women to uh, take a more active role. And I know it's quite hard when you're balancing a family and, and life as well. Oh, look, it's a fantastic experience and a lot of women can bring so much more diversity into it. And a special experience of uh, life bringing up children in kindergartens. They're, they've got a range of um, skills that a lot of men don't have. And when you work together well with men, you can be a dynamic council. And that's right, it's, it is really a team effort. And while we're celebrating women, you know, there are men also involved in this picture. <laughs> oh, of course, men are very important too because they bring their skills to the table as well. But women are, are very good negotiators and talkers and I, I think soothe the air sometimes and work in a way men don't. And, uh, but when you work together, that's when you get a great council. At the International Women's Day Breakfast at the Surf Coast Shire, this is Debbie Meany for News Geelong. Thank you, Debbie. As we go to a break on this Friday edition of News Geelong, we'll return with more news after this. <laughs> 